Hi, I'm Brian Hogan, the author of Automate with Grunt. If you do any kind of web development and you haven't looked at Grunt yet, let me show you how to put it to work for you right away. Let's take a simple web page and set things up so that whenever we make a change to the page's styles, the web browser automatically refreshes for us. To make this work, you'll need to install Node.js on your computer. And you can do that by visiting the Node.js site, downloading the installer, and installing things with the default options. Next, you should install the Live Reload Browser extension for your web browser. The official Live Reload page shows where to install the extensions. When you're all done, you'll have a new Live Reload button in your browser. And now we just need to set up Grunt for our project. I've got a simple compound interest calculator that uses Angular, but we need to spruce it up a little bit because the interface is somewhat boring and that's going to mean writing some CSS. So we'll use Grunt to get the page refreshing whenever I change anything in the style. First, we install the command line tool for Grunt using Node's package manager called npm. The command we use to do that is npm install dash g grunt dash cli. Then in the project workspace, we use npm to create a package.json file for our app. This file lets us specify the name for our project as well as a description and other information we might need later. But the main reason we want this file is that we'll use this file to track the Grunt plugins that we'll use. The Grunt command line utility doesn't do anything other than let us call Grunt from the command line. We actually have to install Grunt as a dependency to our project. We do that with npm install grunt dash dash save dash dev. The last part of this command instructs the installation process to add grunt as a development dependency to our package.json file. So if we look at our package.json file, we'll see now that grunt is listed as a development dependency. Then to make grunt watch files for changes, we need to install a plugin for grunt called grunt contrib watch, which we do using the npm install command again. And we use the same save dev flags to make sure that this dependency is tracked inside of the package.json file. And we see when looking at the package.json file again, grunt contrib watch is now listed as a development dependency. Next, we create a simple grunt file in our project. It has the file name gruntfile.js, and it'll contain all of the configuration for the tasks that we want to use in our project. In that file, we put in grunt's boilerplate. And then we tell Grunt that we want to load the watch plugin. And then we configure the watch plugin with some options. We say that we want to use Live Reload. And we say that we want to have it watch for styles. And the files that we're going to watch are going to be files in the styles folder, no matter how deep they are, with the extension of CSS. And this is just enough configuration to make Grunt watch for changes in our project. If we fire off the Grunt watch task, we'll now see that the task is waiting for things to change. If we bring up our style sheet for the project and we change the background color, something like red, and when we save the file, Grunt notifies us that the file has changed. If we go to our browser and we activate the Live Reload plugin, then there's now a connection between our browser and the Live Reload server running inside of the Grunt task. So now, when we save the file again, this time Grunt sees a change and the browser refreshes because the signal was sent from Grunt to the browser to reload the page. As we're building out the styles for our form, we can see these things happen in real time. My form has an ordered list inside of it, and every one of the fields is an entry in that ordered list. If I want to remove the list item bullet points, I can do that by taking list style and setting it to none. And as soon as I save the file, I'll immediately see that those will disappear. And when I remove the margin, and I remove the padding, and I save the file, I'll immediately see those updates happen right in the browser. So this makes for an incredible workflow for web development. 
Grunt itself is a powerful tool with a large ecosystem of plugins, and this is only the beginning. In the book Automate with Grunt, you'll learn how to build more complex workflows than this, and you'll learn how to define your own custom tasks, your own plugins, and even create project templates. Get your copy today and start automating your development workflow.